Ван Фут Флипа. Hey everyone, Paige here, the One Foot Flipper. I was just listening to the Trash for Cash podcast and they were talking about goals of selling 10,000 a month on eBay. And I'm already at 10,000 a month on eBay, so I thought I'd go over uh, a few of the things that I do to get to get to that point. Because sometimes you get different advice from different people. Some people's advice isn't going to work for you at all. Maybe because you have different items, maybe because you don't have 50,000 followers buying items out of your store. It, it could be a lot of things. Like my wife will pick out things that the crazy lamp lady sold for $100 and we can't get $20 for it because I'm not the crazy lamp lady. People aren't specifically shopping for me. Glass isn't actually a great category for the most part. So then we're stuck with that stuff. Uh, I started out as a trading card specialist. I still have about 14,000 of them in my store, but this video is not really going to be about trading cards. It's going to be about everything else. First to start off, I do not use free shipping. Free shipping gets in the way of markdowns, and I use markdowns pretty heavily. When I'm listing things, I search out each item I list with the search set to buy it now, price, lowest first, United States only. I look at the current prices and the sold prices, and then I price my item slightly below the cheapest one currently available. However, sometimes when everything is available is higher than anyone that has ever sold, which is actually quite common, I'll, then I'll just match the highest price in the sold history. And every once in a while, I'll get an item that obviously moves pretty frequently, but somebody has one at half the going rate. In that case, I'll skip that one. I'll let that one sell first. But that is, deciding to let, let another one sell first is pretty rare for me. From there, then I'll use the sell similar feature on eBay to sell similar from the highest price successfully sold listing. As that listing is likely to already have a good start as far as title and item specifics go. Now, if the item I'm searching out is a media item, a book, a DVD, a record, and people have it for $6 or shipped, then I'm not going to list that item at all. I'm going to bundle it up with similar items, donate it, possibly throw it in the trash, or maybe even rip it up to use as packing material. I rip up a lot of books for packing material, unfortunately. Because once a media item gets down to that price range, it's never going to recover to the point where you can sell it at a profitable level. Because you, you're competing against the charity media sellers at that point, and they can take things down below $3.99 shipped without losing money because they only pay 2% eBay fees on media, while you're paying 12.9 to 15 depending on the category. And they get the, their media mail cheaper than you do because of uh, pre-sort. Then I also, I don't list anything cheaper than $1.99 plus shipping. Once you go below that price, the 30 cent transaction fee and the basic supplies take such a huge chunk out of things that you've got to be able to fill the orders incredibly fast. Some people can somehow do it, but I can't make it work. I cannot fill the orders fast enough. Then I save, as I do each listing, I save it to drafts. I don't, I don't submit it. Then every morning when I get up, I'll launch 10% of my drafts. I'll split that evenly between the most expensive items the least expensive items, and the oldest drafts. That means that I will have a very consistent amount of listings going up every single day, both in number and in value. And then every day I'll send offers to watchers, usually multiple times. For some sort of items, the offer is almost always 10%. For my really good items in my specialty, which in my case is tabletop gaming, then, and if it's less than a month old, the offer is only going to be 5%. I've already got the best price on the website for the thing. So that 5% offer is just a bonus. Somebody's going to buy that thing. Now, sometimes I'll see something crop up in there that I've had for ages. I've never sent an offer on it before. Then I might send a bigger offer. I might do 15, 20. I've even done 30%. Then every day I also look at my old listings. When something's almost three months old, I'll, I end the listing. I use the sell similar feature, reducing the price by 10%, keeping that $1.99 plus shipping minimum. Usually I'll fill in a few more item specifics. And then I save those into the drafts as well, so they'll just get filtered back out at the new cheaper prices. 
it's pretty rare for one of my items to actually get relisted a second time because normally I priced it right the first time, got even cheaper the second time. So then by the time it gets around to that second time, it's already gone. If you have any questions about that part, you can put them below in the comments. Figure, show you a couple of things. I haven't, didn't sell many interesting things today, but I want to talk about one thing because it's part of my process. Sometimes you get something and you don't know how to price it. I get that a lot in tabletop gaming because I'll buy these weird lots of war game figures, tanks, and miniatures. I won't even know what games they go for. I won't know which tank is which or anything else. So what I do with those is I put those into a decent sized little group and I price it as $100. And then every two weeks 10 days to two weeks to a month depending on the category i drop that price 10 percent uh this right here is an example of that this these are parts to the avalon hill war game uh what is it called squad leader these are some map sections and counters upon counters upon counters little cardboard little cardboard chits they're was no way to value this i bought the nobody sells the counters on their own map pieces sell on their own between two dollars and eight dollars but they're, they're very slow there's no real rhyme or reason to what they sell for so i checked this together put it out at a hundred dollars i was going to just lower it by 10 percent after normal but in less than one day somebody offered me 75 and i took it because I only paid 60 for the entire war game lot, which was like five other complete games in addition to this pile of extra stuff. So the pile of extra stuff paid for the entire lot. So the other four games are going to be all profit. And I think that is all I have for today. So we'll see you later.